Yes, there are thousands in our family. Their work is an integral part of what will be the best picture of the year and of every picture of every year. The award that is about to be given then is a tribute to each and every one of them. The best motion picture is Hi, everybody. I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Up next in our marathon of Best Picture Oscar nominees, we have a tense story about a group of naval officers aboard a U.S. destroyer during the Second World War. When they begin to doubt the competence and mental stability of the ship's captain, they take matters into their own hands. From Columbia in 1954, it's the Kane Mutiny. Right as the film begins, we learn there has never been a mutiny aboard a U.S. Navy vessel. We find out because it's written directly on the screen. The Navy wanted everyone who saw the movie to know the events depicted never happened. It is all fiction. But you'll quickly discover how real, how plausible the story seems. Much of the credit for that goes to author Herman Woke, who wrote the novel The Kane Mutiny, then adapted it into a hit stage play. Woke served in the Navy during World War II, so he was writing about a world he knew. The outstanding cast includes Van Johnson, Fred McMurray, and Robert Francis as officers serving under the command of Humphrey Bogart giving a memorable performance as the ship's increasingly unbalanced captain. When asked later how he managed to totally capture the paranoid personality of the captain, Bogart told an interviewer, it was simple, everybody knows I'm nuts anyway. His peers, though, they knew better and awarded Bogart an Oscar nomination for Best Actor, one of the seven nominations earned by the film. Bogart lost the Oscar to Marlon Brando for On the Waterfront, which also won Best Picture. From director Edward Dimitrick in 1954, here's Humphrey Bogart in The Kane Mutiny. 